good morning everyone uh, in the previous class we were discussing about something uh, like different kind of uh, operations which we saw uh, how we can perform and uh, like different number systems uh, and uh, some other other things like how we can uh, write a signed or unsigned number and how it can be represented in either in ones or twos complement okay now in this lecture we will discuss about uh, what are the different codes that are actually important or that is needed especially if i am talking about any digital system or any digital computers because see if you talk about some 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 let, let, let us assume i have a computer okay and in that computer i can provide uh, the input in any way like we have a keyboard we have a different kind of alphanumeric uh, entries we can provide but see to understand the human we can provide the alphanumeric codes that is sufficient but the computer cannot understand so to convert uh, alphanumeric to the binary which the computer can understand we need some codes okay and those codes are the binary codes so this is one of the example which i am giving but in detail i will tell you how this binary code works and what are the different types of binary codes that we can uh, understand okay so let us try to understand what is the binary code and how it utilized to convert or interpret one uh, information to uh, another form which machine can learn okay so suppose i have a data okay and this data can be in any form this could be like numerical data this could be alpha numerical data this could be special character that, that uh, whatever it could be like that you can see your keyboard and there are many kind of uh, 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 alphabets some numbers are there some special characters are also there so this data could be anything this information could be anything and based on that what i have to do suppose i have to enter this data into the computer so what i have to do i have to do in a two way suppose i have a computer and i have to read it i have to write this data whatever we have so i need to try like how i can read this data into the computer but because the computer or the processor whatever you utilize in this computer can understand only the binary information not the alphabets not the alpha numeric codes not the special characters okay so if i want to uh, write or i want to transfer any of the information which is in this form like numerical form alphabetical form or alpha numerical form or special character directly we cannot do it it is impossible to directly uh, transfer this kind of information into the computer because these two are the different kind of languages suppose if i am i am indian and if someone from the let us assume from the german people if they are speaking in german and i don't know how like what is german language so i will not be able to understand what they are saying so in between i need one interpreter who can understand uh, the hindi as well as the german so what uh, that interpreter will do that interpreter simply get the information from the german people they uh, understand it then convert it into the language which i can understand and then that will transfer to us okay and the vice versa kind of process will be adopted okay so that the both the people who don't know each other's language they can understand the language so this is the important role of the binary code okay this is the importance of the binary code so for that purpose what we can do we need a interpreter in between the uh, the data whatever we have which we want to transfer into the uh, computer and that interpreter simply convert Uh, any of the numerical data alpha numerical data or special character into a, a machine understandable form which is a binary form and that it converts and our, uh, it transfer into the computer and this kind of process is possible so by this way we can do that like how we can transfer the data how we can uh, uh, store the data in the system or in the processor if it is in other form okay so the interpreter like if i am talking about the interpreter simply the binary codes are the different kind of codes that are responsible like uh, we can have a different kind of interpreter based on our requirement and that that interpreter will perform the output accordingly 
okay just like suppose uh, uh, if i want to get information like from the german then let us assume some uh, uh, english language like uk or e us or uh, some other language like french language so we need a different kind of interpreter for that okay so that interpreter will do and based on the requirement uh, we can utilize the binary code okay so the binary code is just just like an interpreter which we, which can convert uh, uh, information or the human understandable information into the machine understandable information okay and um, uh, and this is how it works and once uh, uh, the interpreter is able to transfer the data into the computer then we will get the information in the machine language form like which is the uh, binary information and this is what we can get the actual information or we can store the actual information into the system because any other processor or any of the uh, like digital device they can understand only binary information okay so we must convert any of the data whatever we want to store that must be converted into the binary information and this is the whole process how it works okay so so binary code play an important role in this case suppose i have a different information so uh, to convert different languages or different information into the binary that binary code is needed okay so this is the fundamental of binary code and the importance of the binary code if i'm talking about the binary code the binary code can be of different kind of okay so there kind of different uh, there are different classification of binary code the first classification is we can decide by the weight of its digit so and uh, so these codes are weighted and the non weighted code what does it mean it means that uh weighted code and non weighted code means suppose if i am just let me let me take some example so that you will be able to understand what i am saying let us consider i have a, a binary information something like this okay so <clears throat> 1010 10, which is something like this okay and if i want to convert this binary information into decimal what we do we simply place a weight of each digit from the right hand side the weight of the right hand side digit is 0 then 1 then 2 and then 3 so these are the weight of each digit whatever we have used okay and if we try to convert into the decimal form then it will be like 1 into 2 to the power 3 plus 0 into 2 to the power 2 plus 1 into 2 to the power 1 plus 0 into 2 to the power 0 where these terms whatever we have here this term indicates the weight of all the digits whatever we have used here okay so these all are the weight and if we try to calculate here this 2 to the power 3 is nothing but this is equivalent to 8 this is equivalent to 4 this is equal to 2 and this is equal to 1 okay so like so these these all are the weight of each digit which we can convert so these kind of codes are the weighted code okay and the non weighted codes are which do not follow any other pattern that the like suppose there is no weight and they they follow a different kind of the pattern so those kind of codes are non weighted code i will tell you what kind of codes we can consider under the non weighted code and i will give you the example of those codes as well okay now if we talk about the weighted code we can have a two kind of weighted code either the positive weighted code or the negative weighted code positive negative weighted code means like if you see here the weight of this one whatever uh, we have here is like 8 4 and 2 and 1 all the weights are in positive form okay all the weights are positive so we can call this code as a positive weighted code maybe there there could be some codes having the weight of each digit could be negative okay so i will i will give you the example what those codes are might be the code of the let us assume this code is minus 2 the weight of this this bit is minus 2 so we can consider this code as a negative weight code okay so i will uh, explain you in more detail later on okay. so if you see here like whatever example i just told you suppose i have uh, a decimal number system okay suppose yeah i, I will discuss later on no, no worry don't don't worry okay so this is how we can decide the uh, 
weight of each digit and we can decide the uh, which kind of code it is okay now let us try to uh, understand one by one each of these codes let us assume what are the positive positively weighted code i just told you if the weight of each digit is positive then we can call them the positively weighted binary code okay and these are some of the example of the positively weighted binary code suppose i have a decimal number system which is a decimal number from 0 to 9 okay and if i want to uh, have some positive weighted code so 8421 which we just saw in the previous slide that we can call it the positive weighted code other code could be like 7421 8311 83511 uh, 6311 5311 so these all codes are the positively weighted code okay uh, each weight or each digit can decide what is the weight okay so suppose here if we talk about the 8421 so if i have to write uh, let us assume i have to write 4 in that case if we see this particular uh, code in that case, I have to activate this digit and rest of the digit could be zero. So zero, one, double, zero, that will represent the four equivalent decimal. Similarly, let us assume I have, I have a code which is a 7421 and I have to represent three. So to represent three, what I can do, I can do simply I can activate to make three, I need to activate these two digits and rest two digits will be zero. So to represent three, I need to write zero, zero, one, one. Similarly, if I have to write, uh, like if you see here, in this BCD or in this 8421 code, if I have to write 8, I have to activate only one digit, this one, and rest all other digits should be 0. So 1 triple 0, that will indicate 8. But if I have a code like 7421, in that case, uh, I have to activate two digits, like this digit and this digit, so that I can get the equivalent 8. Okay, so based on the different codes, we can get the values, whatever we are getting. Okay, so this is what the uh, positively weighted codes are. Okay, so these are the different uh, positively weighted codes. Yes, to understand or to simply uh, decide whether the code is uh, positively weighted or negatively weighted, simply see if any of the weight is negative, then it will become the negatively weighted. And if it is positive, then it is the positive. Limit. Okay. If any one is negative, then it will become the negatively weighted. Okay. So let us consider the negatively weighted codes. Okay. Negatively weighted, some of the example of the negatively weighted code, uh, codes are like 8, 4, minus 2, minus 1, 7, 4, minus 2, minus 1, 7, 3, 1, minus 2. So if any of the weight is negative, then we can call it the negatively weighted code. Okay. Now, now me, sir. yeah, please. Sir, in the previous slide, yes. Uh, sir, here uh, you said that if we wanted to, like, suppose in the first eight four two one, if we want nine, yes. then that's eight and one. Hmm. Sir, what if there is like seven four nine two? That's a positively weighted binary code, sir. But and if we want nine in that, hmm. sir, that could be first and last also, and the seven four nine two. 7492. Where is the 7492? Only these uh, decimal uh, things are uh, only positive, or there are some other examples also. Uh, those have okay, so you're, you're asking like uh, if there is a code like 7, what what you said? 7492. 92. No, this is not possible, right? See, 7492, like you have to convert all this, this decimal number into the uh, uh, you have to make the combination of all the decimal number system. If you see here, suppose I have a 7492. Okay. So if I want to make zero, then I have to, I, I have to put all this zero. If I have to make one, then there is no possibility to make one, right? So this code is not valid. So I cannot make one here in, uh, with the help of this code, 7492 code. Okay. So this is not possible. So we have to find, we have to come up with the codes. Uh, by which we can make all the possible combination of decimals. Like from 0 to 9, we can make. From here, I cannot make 1. I cannot not make equivalent to 3. 3 is also not possible in this case. So these kind of codes are not valid. You got the answer? Well, what if by any chance, like we can make uh, 
yeah if you can make your own code uh, which can provide all these decimal values from 0 to 9 so that is the valid positive weight code so that is valid so th 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 this is this is possible okay the only thing only condition is you have to come up with all the possible decimal number system whatever we have okay so you you must be able to uh, design or you must be able to convert in all the decimals from 0 to 9 okay and those codes are valid Okay. And sir, uh, if we change the order of these numbers, like this uh, is also example, possible. Yeah, that is then also it will possible. Be different, then it will be counted as a different binary code. Yes, yes, yes. That will be counted as a different binary code. But uh, it is uh, like, yeah, this, if you can see here, if you see here 2421, so it is not mandatory that the weight of next left bit is always higher. If you see here 2421, like the one is the weight, here two is the weight. Four is the weight now the weight becomes two okay so it is not necessary like uh, the way uh, the order of the weight should be always higher if you are going in the left direction it's not like that you can you can make it your own weight or uh, the position of weight should be decided by your own self uh, by, by yourself only okay so that that can become the different kind of binary code and this is possible okay sir okay any other questions <clears throat> Fine. So this is how, so two important conditions that you need to consider. The first condition is you must be able to uh, get all the decimal numbers, whatever we have. And the second possibility, like it is not necessary that you have to keep the order of the weight that should be in the ascending order. It, it is not mandatory. You can keep the weight at any places. Okay. So this is all about the positively weighted code. Now let us talk about what are the negatively weighted code. So in the negatively weighted code, some of the weight is negative. It is not necessary all the weights are negative. Uh, if you will uh, write all the weights are negative, you will not be able to make the decimal, right? So there must be some of the weight which should be positive and some of the some of the weights should be negative so that you can get all the decimal numbers, whatever we have. Suppose I have a weighted uh, negative weighted, weighted code, which is the 8, 4, minus 2, minus 1. And if I want to make zero, so if I will keep all this uh, weight zero, then it will become zero. But if I have to make one, so like see here, the weight of the first digit is minus one. The weight of second one is minus two. The weight of third is four and the weight of fourth one is eight. Now, if I have to make one, then what I, I can do, there is no uh, one weight. So I have to activate four minus two minus one that will give the equivalent one. So I have to activate all these three bits. So that is why for one, one zero one 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 is coming. Similarly, you can also make for other other bits. Like suppose if you have to activate uh, uh, for other numbers, like uh, let us assume you want to make, uh, let us assume seven, okay? To make seven, what you can do? You have to activate eight and then minus one. So that will become the seven. So this is how you can make the negatively weighted code. And this is the valid for all these codes, whatever we have here. Okay. Uh, if you clearly see, closely see, uh, some of the codes are reflected code. What are those reflected codes? So four, four, three, two. There are two possibilities for two. Zero, one, one, zero, and one. Then four, four, uh, two possibilities for two okay so let me go to that one four four three two oh, okay fine let me check uh you are saying like uh two possibilities are there zero one zero one and you are saying like one double zero one uh, for two okay so yeah let me uh, yeah I, I got your question let me finish this what i'm saying then i will come to your question so i was just saying like if eight four minus two minus one is here and if you clearly see here I have a decimal point zero and the decimal value, uh, like a decimal uh, number zero and decimal number nine. If you see the binary code of zero is zero, 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 zero. And the binary code of this nine is one, 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 which is this complementary of this one. Okay. So this looks like it is the, uh, the complementary one. Okay. It looks like if you, similarly, if you can consider the one and the next digit, these two are the complementary to each other. Similarly, this and this number is complementary to each other. 
So these kind of numbers are known as self complementary codes. They are negatively weighted code as well as self complementary code. Okay, because the the binary code or the code for zero is complementary to the nine and so on. So if you break up to the four, then it will become the complementary kind of thing. So we can call. Yeah, I will discuss in more detail later on when the self complementary comes. But I just wanted to tell you. it is not necessary then any of the code can fall under only one category they can fall in other category as well okay so this kind of codes we call it the self complementary code now let us come to the question which uh, jayant asked okay okay jayant asked the questions like uh, uh, which code you are asking let me check the question 443 minus 2 443 minus 2 here we have the code and you are saying like for two there are two possibilities uh, it could be yes perfect but we should always like uh, uh, this depends on uh, who has decided the code and what kind of interpreter we have so this could be anything so uh, both the possibility like both kind of codes are possible and 1001 is also valid and 0101 is also valid okay so uh, the important thing is if i want to make this number as a complementary self complementary then i have to use 1001 so that yeah let me uh, explain you i just told you what the self complementary code is if you see here this is complementary to this one okay this number is complementary to this one this one is complementary to this one this one is complementary to this one ah sorry i missed somewhere this one is complementary to this one and so on something like that okay if we see here each digits are uh, like each numbers are complementary to each other if i will consider the other case instead of 1001 if i will consider 0101 then the number will become the non self complementary okay so it depends on whether you want to make it negatively uh, weighted code as well as self complementary then you have to use 1001 otherwise you can use 0101 okay you got the answer then sir in 7 we can use 101 uh complement of previous sorry uh, can sir, you repeat 443 minus 2 we can use 101047 Okay, so you want to make like seven and two complementary to each other, and then that, this is doable. Yeah, of course. So you have to make accordingly. So uh, that you can do. Like suppose if you are making two, like one double zero one, then you have to make seven like zero double one zero. And if you are writing two as a zero one zero one, then you have to write one zero one zero for the seven. So that that is doable. That you can do it. Okay. So see the important thing uh, is. like you have to consider whether you want to make it uh, complement self complementary or not okay and then accordingly you can do it so both are possible both the codes are possible okay similarly in the 731 uh, minus 2 73 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 yes in 1 and 8 uh, we can change both of them also Uh, like zero one zero one can be written as zero one zero uh zero one zero one the one one instead uh, of zero zero one zero we can write zero one zero one zero one zero one yeah this is also possible but important uh, important thing is we must follow from the left hand side first we need to try to fill all the digits with the left side uh, and if, if we have if we have to try uh, to make the possibility. with the left hand side and if it is not possible then we have to go for the right hand side uh, so uh, right hand side then we have to go uh, let, let me repeat again what i am saying suppose whatever the possible like you are saying i have to make one let me clear this space then uh, that will be better uh, i am unable to clear it like this okay no problem so let us assume uh, first of all if you are saying like i have to make one okay in that case there are two possibilities either i can use 0010 and the second possibility could be like 0101 right this this will also give equivalent to uh, one but if 
you are able to make first i need to try from the right hand side bits that whether i am able to get that digit or not if we are able to get it then we need to try first with that otherwise we need to go with that one with the second possibility so yes both codes are valid both are doable but based on our uh, like uh, the pattern like always uh, we must follow from right to left side uh, activation bit activation or wait waits uh, we can decide like we must use 0010 of course if you are using 0101 this is also valid but yes uh, you are bypassing some of the digits even though you are able to make it okay so this is not recommended sir what you meant that we have to activate the rightmost bit first yes so we should try from that side only so but sir are... in 0101 uh, the rightmost bit is activated 010 no rightmost bit is activated but uh, we need to check what is the exact weight like see uh, here we are trying to activate uh, the first bit then we need to check the second bit then third bit so three bit we are checking to make it uh, one decimal but if we consider uh, the first one 0010 i have to check only two digit digits i have to check whether i am able to make it with the first digit or not no then i have to go with the second one whether i am able to make it with this one or not yes then i have to stop it like uh, so the conversion will be faster as compared to the whatever you are suggesting yeah definitely we can do it all the possibilities are there but we have to optimize the the conversion rate as well if we are activating more number of bit it will take more time okay and uh, other than the single bit so because we are always starting from the right hand side and uh, we are moving towards the right so we should try like uh, with the minimum possibility we should get the code okay okay some other question here in uh, uh, 443 minus 2 the codes are self complementary but if they are not then we use either of the codes right yes of course if we are able to make it like uh, non self complementary then you can use any of the things whatever you have sir yes in 443 minus 2 uh, mm -hmm. 4211 instead of 11 1001 one, 0101 is more optimizing sir yeah yeah so see whatever the numbers here we are, i have represented like it's not like whether they are optimized or not you have to check whether the numbers are optimized or not so yeah you can get it like based on your requirement you can optimize it properly okay so all the possibilities are valid it's not like ki none of the possibilities are valid if you are able to make all yeah simple one and only condition is you have to make all the possible decimal number system that's it this is the only possible only uh, the necessary conditions for any of the binary code and if you are fulfilling this criteria that code is per, uh, that code is perfectly valid now you have to check whether it is perfectly efficient or it is self complementary or not so this this is based on your requirement okay okay so is there any other doubt here uh, in this slide so if there is no slide we can move ahead with this slide. okay so what is the benefit of getting self complementary codes self complementary codes are like yeah just very good question right so please wait i will tell you like see here if i yeah let me explain it if i have to make the nice complement or the uh, just i told you before we can perform any of the uh, uh, arithmetical subtraction operation with the nines complement or twos complement ones complement and uh, and twos complement okay so if we are able to get the direct self complementary code so the nines complement is really easy you don't need to make like first complement it then subtract it something like that you have to simply use the its self complementary value and then you can subtract it so some of the arithmetical operations will become easier if the numbers are self complementary okay okay sir okay so this is all about the yeah so this is the importance of uh, this is the use of or this is the benefit of the self complementary uh, especially on the uh, arithmetical operations like subtraction where you are using the nines complement or something like that okay nines complement or ones complement so simply you have to use that fine so this is all about the negatively weighted but i hope uh, all the doubts are clear any doubts are left anyone fine 
sir the fractional part we see that they are negatively weighted so uh, what we consider that actually half are positively in the entire side and half are negative so the whole will be negative for binary system okay so uh, wait one minute yes because this is in our scope just after two or three slides that i am going to explain you how to indicate this negative number uh, this uh, decimal fractional part uh, especially in the binary codes okay so this is also very good question okay please wait for two minutes or something like that and that slide will come and i will explain you okay please wait so uh, i i don't want to explain uh, right now because that will break the flow okay you have to wait for two three minutes and then that num that turn will come okay uh, if i will forget when i will discuss about the bcd code please ask this question again because if i will forget then i, I will not be answer uh, able to answer but uh, please remind at that time then i will talk about the bcd code okay please wait up to that point okay so uh, the the other category could be like non weighted code okay non weighted code i just told you uh, if there are no weight of any of the digits then we can call them the non weighted code uh, some of the examples are the xs3 code and the gray code uh, these two codes are considered under the non weighted code if you see here uh what is the use of this what is the this gray code and what is this access three code uh, i will explain in more detail later on in this slide so uh, i'm not explaining what this gray code is what this access three code is but important thing is uh, the weights are not decided here okay they are following some of the sequence some of the pattern but they are not following the weight okay so this kind of codes we are we can call them the non weighted code okay uh, i will discuss more detail about the gray code and the xs code in the later slides okay so these codes are the non weighted codes uh sequential and the non sequential codes means like suppose uh if any of codes which are following the sequence whatever we have like see here uh we know that in the binary uh the sequence is like 0001010011 and something like that 100101 and so on so this is the actual sequence in the binary pattern okay in and if any of the code is following all these kind of sequences we can call them the sequential codes it is necessary that the any of the code could can come under the sequential code it can be the weighted code it can be the Uh, the self complementary code the same like these all are the feature and any one any code can hold uh, any of the the features whatever i am just explaining the feature could be like weight the feature could be like complementary feature could be like sequential so any of the code can uh, can hold any of these features okay and it is not necessary that all the code will uh, hold all the features okay so we have to think about accordingly so just uh, we discussed like 8421 if you see here uh, uh it is following the sequence whatever we have in the binary system 0000 then 0001 is coming then 0010 0011100 so it is following some pattern some sequence so we can call them the sequential code okay similarly if you see xs3 code yeah i will explain you what is this xs3 code okay so if you see here it is started from the 0011 and the next is 0100 which is just like this one 0011 and 0100 the next one is 0101 so 0101 so it is following the sequence even though it was started from 0011 but after that it is it is following the sequence whatever we have in the binary systems so that is why we can call them the sequential binary code if you talk about a non sequential binary code if you see here they are not following the sequence here i have a 0000 then the, the next one is 0001 next one should be 0010 but the next code is 0011 which is not in the sequence so these codes are non sequential codes okay so 5 to like you can just check which of the code which we have is, uh, discussed before uh, they are sequential or non sequential okay so this is how we differentiate the uh, codes with sequence okay uh, i just told you complementary and the self complementary code like uh, if you see here some of the codes are complementary and some of the codes are non self complementary like see here 
a four three one one, and the code for zero is complementary to nine. Okay, and so on. One is complementary to eight, and so on. So we can call them the self-complementary code. Some of the example of non-self-complementary, like just we discuss eight four two one, and the code for zero 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 is not complementary to nine in the eight four two one code. So eight four two one is a non-self-complementary code. Similarly, you can find other codes as well, which are the non-self-complementary. Okay, so this is how we decide whether it is a self-complementary or non-self-complementary. Okay, yes, uh, this is also important. Like, it is not necessary that self-complementary codes are always positive weighted codes. Okay, so if you see here, some of the codes are positively weighted and some of the codes are negatively weighted, and even though they are self-complementary. So this feature can also be added, like the number or the code could be positively weighted as well as self-complementary, negative weighted as well as the self-complementary, and and other features whatever uh, we discuss us now. Okay, so this is how we can decide. Yeah, the next table gives like the same kind of the things which I just yeah please. Uh, so the self-complementary uh, codes are not sequential. If you observe, so like, is it also something uh, that is always there? Yes, yes, yes. Possible. This is possible. Just wait for the next slide, and that answer that that that, that question will be answered. Okay. Here, see here. Uh, it is yeah. See because see if you want to make here, uh, this is uh, absolutely correct what you said. Uh, because. If you see here zero 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 zero, and this is the complementary to one 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 one, and if you are following something like that, because if you break at the fifty percent portion, it should be like complementary to each other. So even though might be some of the code can follow the sequence up to this four, but after that because it is the self complementary, this will be completely changed. Like it if it is zero one zero one, then it will become one zero one zero. And then it will become like it will not be the self. It will not be the sequential. So this is uh, absolutely correct that the same self complementary codes are not the sequential codes. Okay, they can follow the sequence up to certain values, but after that, the, that uh, sequence will not be followed because I have to complement it after certain value. After four, I have to complement it. Okay, so even though if they are following, like if you see here. Uh, uh, If some codes are something like that, zero 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 one zero zero one zero 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 one one zero one double zero, so might be this is up to four. And the next code is like I'm just designing a new code. Okay, the next like if I want to make it the self complementary, then it should be one zero zero zero, and then it should be zero uh, one one zero zero one one zero one. uh then uh, 1110 and then uh, 1111 so this code whatever i have decided this could be the uh, sequential from here to here and uh, but not after that but we need to check whether this code is giving all the values from 0 to 9 or not if it is giving then this code is valid otherwise it is not valid okay okay so for 5 Uh, one zero one one. Ah, sorry. Yeah, one zero one one. It will be one. Yeah, one zero one one. Okay. So this is how we can check it out. So we need to always check, uh, like, uh, whether it is completely we are getting all the decimals or not. Okay. So this is the important and the necessary condition, essential and the sufficient condition to uh, to validate the code, whether it is this code is valid or not. so that this is what about the code now uh, the self complementary i just told you it is not necessary that self complementary codes are always positive and negatively weighted some of the weight are non weighted code could also be the self complementary code okay if you see here uh, we just saw in the previous slide some of the codes are positively weighted and the negative weighted and even though they are the self complementary but some of the non weighted codes can also be the self complementary like access three code what is this access three code i will tell you in more detail later on but if you see here uh, the code for zero is like 0011 zero, zero, one, one, 
and the code for nine is one one zero zero, and this is the complementary, self complementary. So the non weighted codes can also be the self complementary. So there may be some questions can come in the gate examination, something like that. Like suppose they may have given some code, their own code. Suppose five two minus one minus two, something like that, and they say that this code is uh, complementary. Uh, self complementary non weighted uh, or uh, like sequential uh, and then they will give option a b c are true or something like that any of the combination they can give okay so this kind of questions may come okay. so you should know you should understand the fundamental of all these codes and then it is not necessary to learn the code of all the digits just you should know how to convert the decimal into the into the binary code uh, based on that code and then accordingly you can judge you can decide whether this is the sequential self complementary weighted non weighted whatever it is you can decide okay so this is how we can differentiate different codes based on the different uh, features sir yes sir xs minus 3 code was also for the sequential one i'm yes, not sir. understanding 8 and 9 one like 8 is 1101 and 9 is 1100 So, what do you mean by sequential? That it it should increase by one or what? Uh, zero zero. Uh, yeah. See, it should increase by one. Uh, there may be some typos. Ah, huh? it, it looks like that. I think it's typo. One minute. Uh, this is uh one zero zero. Zero one zero zero double one zero one triple zero one double zero one one zero one zero and one zero yeah here it is typo there is a typo uh, this should be one zero one one this should be typo it is not giving like uh, yeah there is a problem here so this yeah uh, very good uh, there is a mistake in typing here it should be one zero one one. Okay, doubt is clear. Yes. Sir. Okay, fine. So <clears throat> this is all about the self-complementary, non-self-complementary other codes. Uh, now let us talk about uh, some different kind of codes. Just now we understand the different kind of codes based on their feature, like sequential, uh, complementary, uh, like a, a different kind of things. We had we just understand. now the important thing is the uh, the second category like other category of the code could be like like the cyclic code what is the cyclic code cyclic code simply means like if any of the code is following the uh, uh, the cycle something like that like if they are following uh, the important thing like each successive successive word must be differ by one bit okay so this is the importance like if you see in the previous slides uh If you see this one, uh, the code for zero was zero 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 one. The code for one is zero zero one uh, zero 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 one. So only one b one digit is changing. So this is fine. If you see here, if I am going from one to two, then two digits are changing. This is same. This is same. This is changing. This is changing. So this code cannot be considered as a cyclic code. So to make any code cyclic, the sim the minimum condition is the next uh, next digit must be changed by a like next number must be changed by a single digit only. So suppose I have a code something like zero 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 for zero, zero 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 one for one. I have a code which should be like only one digit should change. So zero zero one one is one of the possibility, okay? Like this is same, and only this digit is changing. So this we can consider as a cyclic code, okay? So I will discuss all these things in detail, and which are the example of the cyclic codes. So the first condition is like each successive word uh, is differed by only one bit. Second is like we can also call them the unit distance code because a single digit is changing. and the simplest example of this cyclic code is the gray code okay we just saw the gray code a little bit but in detail we will check it out how it looks like and how it works so the gray code is a simple example of this cyclic code 